I took a very very short break from making my YouTube videos and basically any projects but today I'm back and I want to make a very simple project that I wanted to make for a very long time it will be an organizer for SMD components I have really a lot of super small capacitors and resistors I want to keep them organized with all of the values labeled so that it's easy to find basically any value I want for my project to make it I will use a laser cutter and a 3D printer so let's go to the workshop It is so good to be back in the workshop and here is my box of electronic components and those are mostly SMD components, capacitors, resistors, some kind of connectors, that kind of stuff. And I have really all of them. I want to have them really well organized so that whenever I'm working on a new project, it's super easy to find basically any value I want of each component. And for that, I want to use plastic test tubes. I bought like 100 of these uh, on Banggood. I will link those in the description. Basically, it's something like this, a small test tube with a cap so that you can close it. Uh, it's really cheap and it will be perfect hopefully for some SMD components because you can really fit a lot of those in here. And then uh, to organize those, here's what I want to use. Here I have the plywood and this plywood is exactly the size of the A4 paper. So it's about 20 centimeters by 30 centimeters, something like this. Uh, and this will be perfect to organize those plastic tubes. So I will cut with a laser cutter holes so that I can fit those plastic tubes inside. Uh, and then I will also engrave uh, the values on the plywood, but I also want to print with a normal printer on the paper uh, the values and stick them to this tube. I hope that this kind of organizer with plywood and 3D printed legs will be quite simple to use and more efficient than a box with a lot of bugs in it because it's really really not cool to deal with all of that whenever I want to make a new project. Uh, so that's what we will make today. But firstly of course I need to design this and I will probably use Fusion 360 uh, and also Inkscape to design all of that. Uh, then of course Fusion 360 for the 3D printed leg and we'll assemble all of that, put the proper components uh, in proper tubes and we'll see how it works. So let's go to the computer. Before I will cut the whole thing, I just want to see if this distance between holes and if 15mm hole diameter is enough for this tube because I don't want this to be loose. I want a pretty tight fit between the tube and the plywood so I will quickly laser that to see if everything is fine and then we'll design and laser the whole thing. First test cut is ready, it took like 5 seconds to cut those two holes. Laser cutting is really really fast uh, and everything seemed to work fine, like maybe it's not all the way in to the plywood but that's actually a good thing because there is more room for your fingers so it's actually easier to take out those tubes. I will design it and then we'll start cutting engraving and also 3D printing uh, the legs for this plywood. I'm printing the first leg for this project. I will also print the nuts so that there is just plywood and 3D printed parts. You don't need screws or anything like this and especially glue because I really don't like glue. It's really unprofessional. And I also changed the concept of this project a little bit. As you can see, there is just engraving on the top and it says 0805. Uh, that's the 
size the package of the resistors or capacitors. I have both 0805 and 1206. So I will just engrave it this on the top of the plywood and there will be no values below each test tube. Uh, that's because there is a lot of values of different resistors, capacitors. I don't have all of them, I have pretty much all of them, but not all. So I will just simply print with inkjet printer uh, the values and stick them to the top of the test tube with tape or something like this. Uh, that should work fine. Thanks to amazing setup that I did with my laser cutter, I don't even need to be connected physically to the laser cutter, I can do everything just by Wi-Fi. Now we need to open VisiCard file and open map uh, by group layer and choose engrave for engrave layer and cut for cut layer. It will take about 3 minutes, that's really cool. So now the job is in laser cutter, we just need to press the go button and it will start engraving and cutting. plates, organizers are ready. It took just 4 minutes to make each one, so laser cutting is really really fast. If you would like to print it, which you can also do, it would take probably an hour, maybe 2 hours to print that and it would barely fit on the CR10, which is already quite a big printer. Uh, all test tubes fit pretty well in each hole, so that's great. The engraving is also really cool. Uh, this kind of smoked around the holes thing can be easily removed with a sponge, with wet sponge or you can also use a paper towel for that. It's not perfect but it also works. What I will do now, uh, I already printed the first leg, now I'm printing the nut to see if uh, those two work together fine. If they will, I will print uh, the rest of legs and nuts for that. And also, I come up with an idea that instead of printing the data, like the manufacturer stuff, uh, the tolerance that I wanted to put on the side of the test tube, I can easily cut those information out of those bags actually with just a knife and using a tape stick them to this so I have pretty much everything that I need uh, even the manufacturer number so that I can easily look up uh, those things on the internet so now I just need to cut all of that stick them to those test tubes and put all of the resistors and capacitors in the test tubes but before I will do that a quick message from a sponsor of this video this video is sponsored by LCSC Electronics, they send me all of the components that I'm trying to organize in this video and you can find a lot more on their website. You can buy thousands of components, any size, any value you want. You can also find rare parts that are hard to buy anywhere else and when you buy more stuff you can get a nice discount. Find out more at lcsc.com, link is in the description. It's another day and I have been working on on the stickers and sticking those to the test tubes. Those holes are a little bit too small for the test tubes with the sticker. Uh, those were perfect for the test tube without the sticker but with a sticker it's a little bit bigger and 
it barely fit inside. So I grabbed a file and I sanded it down a little bit so that right now uh, this fits perfectly. But I'm not sure if I like this uh, kind of not perfect look of those holes. Uh, so I just may end up cutting this again on the laser cutter. I'm not sure yet, we will see. So let's just continue doing this as for now. I already made a few projects that were just for organizing my workshop and projects that I'm making. Uh, most of that you didn't see because I don't share that online too often. Uh, but this one is really the best one. It's super simple. Uh, it's a really clean build. There's really not a lot of components. Just four minutes of laser cutting and engraving and then five hours of 3D printing. That's quite a lot. And you have one of these organizers. That's pretty cool. And you can easily keep a lot of small components uh, in here, for example, right here I have 300 resistors. You can probably fit like 10,000 or maybe even more in one plastic tube. That's great. And it's really not expensive to make one of these. You can also stack them together uh, to keep more components in one place. You can put it on your desk, you can put it on a shelf, basically wherever you want. And those, as you can see, hold pretty strongly together because of these 3D printed legs that I designed. A uh, really nice project, I'm really happy with it. That's it for this project and video. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments and if you need more info about those organizers, you can find all of that in the comments. If you would like to support my work, you can do it on Patreon, there is also a link in the description. Thank you very much for watching, keep making, bye!